All right, so this video is going to be for my Tech Ed 1 class, period 3A. Uh, the video is going to cover, go over the completion of how to complete block A, um, the block itself, and put it in the drawing, and then talk about submitting that drawing into Schoology when we're done. So I go ahead and I click on my block A PDF. Uh, that is this file right here. I'm going to go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. And we're going to create this part here, uh, add on our 1020 steel, and then we're going to take this part and put it into this drawing here, and then that will be the drawing you submit into Schoology. So looking at this, it's pretty clear that if you look at the three views, the front, the top, and the right side, it would make most sense to start from the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from the top plane in SOLIDWORKS, and I'm going to create this outline you see right here I'm tracing around. And what I'm going to do is I take that outline and then extrude that outline up one and a quarter inches. And then I'm going to come back and cut this rectangle out, and then we'll cut two circles in the top two pillars here. And at that point, we should be able to have this done in probably about 10 minutes. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get my SOLIDWORKS up and running. Now in this case here, going back into that right here, uh, this is going to be a GHS um, fraction, inch, okay, inch fraction I think is what it's called, GHS A border. So I'm going to go ahead and pick that one here. In the meantime, I'm going to slide this over to my other screen so I can look at as reference and get into my SOLIDWORKS. So I'm going to do a file new. <clears throat> GHS A inch fraction is the border we're going to use. Not the border, excuse me. We're not doing a border, we've got to create the part. Okay, we're going to start the part in inches, then we'll put it on a GHSA inch fraction border. So I'm going to start in inches and say, okay, I'm going to go over here to my design tree to the left. I'm going to highlight the top plane. I'm going to go ahead and start a new sketch on that top plane, which will then turn the plane normal to my screen. At this point, I'm going to turn on my line tool, and I am going to draw the outline I described a moment ago as I was describing the part. I'm just going to draw some straight lines, kind of come up in here, over, down, and closed. Hit escape to turn my tool off, and hit my F key to center everything up. Turning on my smart dimension now, I'm going to go ahead and start adding in some key information. So the first thing I want to do is make sure, <coughs> excuse me, that this length right here is going to be 3 quarters of an inch, which is 0.75. The distance from here to here between the two, or the gap right here, will be 2.5. The overall length of this part from left to right will be 4 inches. Uh, the overall depth of this is going to be uh, 2.5. So I'm going to go here to 2.5, 2.5. And then this height of this cutout right here is going to be 0.75. And just like that, everything turns black. And remember, black means fully defined. That means SOLIDWORKS is happy with the information it has. I'll hit my F, F key to center it up. I'm now going to go to Features, Extruded Boss Base, and I'm going to extrude this up one and a quarter inches. So it's going to be 1.25 inches and enter. I'm going to hit my check mark, <clears throat> hit my F key. Now, I know it's showing wood. For some reason, this template got messed up. Um, it's actually showing it as balsa over here to the left. I'm actually going to right click on this right now and edit this material. And I'm going to change this from a balsa wood to a steel of AISI 1020. I'm going to left click that steel right there, say apply left click close. Now I'm going to go ahead and highlight this top surface and start a new sketch. Now I need the surface to be flat to my screen so I'm going to take the shortcut which is my space bar and then I'm going to hit the little arrowhead right here called normal to. And that will rotate it to my screen. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to cut out a rectangle right here. We're going to cut that rectangle down 5 eighths of an inch. So I'm going to turn on my rectangle tool, corner rectangle. I am going to click on this edge and draw a rectangle like so. I'm going to hit escape to turn it off. Now, 
what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this rectangle and I'm going to add it or touch this line right here. Now, what this is going to be, how we're going to do this is we're going to add a relationship. Okay, now this is something new that we haven't done before. We would like to tell SOLIDWORKS to take this blue line and lay it right on top of this black line right here. To do that, you have to add what's called a relationship. And we're going to add a relationship called collinear means put this line on top of this line. <clears throat> so to do that, I'm going to hold my control key. I'm going to left click my blue line. I'm going to left click this black line. And when I do that, if I look to my left, I get what's called add relations. The one I would like you to add is called collinear, which means put one line on top of the other. If you left click on that, the box is going to move so that this line now is on top of this line here. Hit your green check mark. Turn on your smart dimension and dimension this height of the rectangle at one inch. So right now I see everything is in black. That is good. I mean SOLIDWORKS has all the information it needs. So now what I want to do is I'm going to hit my space bar. I would like to hit this little cube in the corner. That's isometric, so you can see this. And now I'm going to tell it to extrude cut, and we're going to cut it down 5 eighths of an inch. So I'm going to go Features, Extruded Cut, and where it says 1.25 right now, I'm going to put in 5 divided by 8, just in case I don't know what that is, Enter, which is 0.625. Hit your green check mark. Now, I'm going to highlight this top face of this pillar. Since these are both on the same, um, same plane, I'll be able to draw a circle on both at the same time. So I'm going to go ahead and start a sketch, spacebar, normal to, and now I'm going to draw two circles, one in the center of each square, approximately the center, and then hit Escape and turn on my <coughs> Smart Dimension tool. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to click on the edge of this circle here and make that 0.5. I'm going to click on the center of the circle here to this line here, pull to my right, and make that 3 divided by 8. <clears throat> I'm going to click on this center again in this right edge and pull down and do again 3 divided by 8. And then I'm going to repeat that on the other side. 0.5 from the center to the side, 3 divided by 8, 3 divided by 8. Okay, now again, everything's in black, everything looks good, SOLIDWORKS is happy. So again, what I'm going to do at this point is space bar, hit this box in the corner so you can see this, and then what we're going to do is we are going to cut these all the way through. So I'm going to go to my features extruded cut and we're going to set a blind here we're going to drop this down to through all so it cuts all the way through and I'm going to hit my check mark Oop, no wrong way sorry check mark all right so there is your final block so let's go ahead and do a quick file save as I'm going to put this on my desktop since I already have this in another folder so I don't want to override it and I'm going to <clears throat> make this uh, caps lock on block A. Save. Now, I'm done with this part. So what I want to do from here is I want to take and take this part and put it onto a drawing. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do is put it onto the border. So I've got this piece. Now we're going to do what we've done for seven drawings now. We're going to do number eight right here is to open the border and put this part on the border. Okay, so I'm going to pull this back over, get my SOLIDWORKS back up and running, and do a File, New. Again, this is going to be the GHS A inch fraction. I'm going to left click on that and say OK. Now, <clears throat> I should see Block A here. If I don't, then I may have to go browse for it. Okay, in this case, now if you go to browse and you don't find it, that means one of two things. Either you forgot where you put it when you saved it, or you never saved it. If it still says under the original part, if it still says part one, 
That means it has not been saved. You cannot bring it in until it's been saved. You have to save the block before you can bring it in. Now I'm just going to simply double click on block A. Opens back up into my management or property manager over here on setting up a drawing. It's the same as we've done for the previous seven. We're going to start with a center or a front view, center box. Turn on the preview. Turn my hidden lines on. And we'll look at the scale. We're going to go ahead and change the kit scale to a one to one. And now I'm going to start putting the parts on the paper. So all I'm going to do is come to this left hand corner and left click, pull straight up and left click, pull to my right and left click, and then pull up at an angle and left click. Now that I've got my four views, I hit escape. Now it's obvious this view is way too big. So we're going to left click inside that box one time, look over to your left, and we're going to actually do two things. Add color, and then we're going to change the scale from one to one to one to two. We've done that in the previous um, seven drawings before. Okay, so now I can readjust this one. And one of the things I want you to make it used to is to always take these black lines out because this should just look like kind of the final picture view. Now, at this point, I'm just going to turn on my Smart Dimension tool and I'm going to start putting the dimensions on just like I see them in the example drawing. So I'm going to go from this line here to this line here and pull up. Uh, I'll go right about there and I'm going to hit the arrows to go inside. Okay, that's a little dot right there. I'm going to go from this line here <clears throat> to this line here, two and a half, and then the entire top line, pull up, there's four. From this center line to the bottom here will be five over eight. I'm going to go ahead and hit the little dot to put the arrows to the inside. Hit this right hand line and pull out, left click. Now I'm going to stop right there for a second because I'm getting a little crowded, so I'll slide over a little bit more. Make sure I have a little bit more room over here. That looks good. And now I'll come back and turn my tool back on and continue with my measurements. I hit this top line here at three quarters. Let's keep it right there. Hit this line right here for one. And then from the left side, to the right side, pull up for two and a half. <laughs> Work my way up here. I'm going to click on the circle. I get a one half inch this way. From the circle edge to the bottom edge, I get three over eight to the right. And from the circle to this right edge, I pull down, I get three eighths again right here. Okay. Now, at this point, I'm going to go to each one of these. At the back end of this, I go over to this white box right here where it says Dimension Text, put my cursor inside, and with my caps lock on, I type in TYP. That means both circles are a half an inch. I'm going to pull this one out to the right. I'm going to go ahead and put my cursor inside and go TYP again. And I'll pull the same thing. I'm going to pull this one up a little bit to give myself some space here. And I'm going to click on this. And go to my left, and in the white box, type in TYP. Now, from a view standpoint, all the dimensions are on there. However, I still need to come over here, and I need to add in a title. Okay, so that is using my note tool. And I'm just going to drop a box underneath, and then the same setup we've done in the previous seven drawings. Font size will be 12, bold, underline, centered. Caps lock on. We're going to type in block A, enter. Turn your bold and underline off, but keep it still centered. 12 and caps lock on. Scale is 1 equals 2, enter. Material is AISI 1020 steel. Click outside the box and then hit escape. Now, if you need to, you can move this around and adjust it. That looks pretty good right there. All my spacing looks pretty good around the parts. If you want to adjust anything, you can grab and maybe pull this up a little bit higher, give it a little more space. It's up to you. Okay. The last part of this is to get the title block taken care of. 
Okay, we never hand write on these things. We always double click and type in the information. So where's the SOLIDWORKS drawing? We are going to double click and type in block A. Click outside of it. I'm going to left click and hold and drag it over a little bit closer. GHS student, I'm going to double click. My first initial, my first name, my last name. Click outside. I also left click and drag this a little bit closer to drawn by. The date, 11, 15, 20, period, 3A, scale, 1 to 1, okay? So at this point, I'm going to hit my F key, and then I'm going to do a file, save as, always say yes, update the views before save, and then again, same spot as my part, which is in this case on my desktop. You should have it in your H drive. I'm just going to hit the word save. Now your final step will be then to go into Schoology. Okay, and the directions are right here. So I'm going to show you those directions. The directions are right here where you go into Schoology. You're going to locate that file by clicking on this button. Find that block A drawing. Attach it and submit into this assignment. Okay, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask or email. Otherwise, good luck.